Hi, I am Priyanka Orgadia, and for those of you who don't know me, I do developer relations at Google in the cloud side of things. And in the last couple of years, I've been involved in building and launching Gemini Code Assist with our product and engineering teams. I love to teach, and a lot of you have been asking me to explain the basics of generative AI. So here I am kicking off a series called 10 Days of Gen AI. Now, in today's video, let's start with what is generative AI and how is it different from traditional AI? You might have heard about artificial intelligence in general before, right? You know, those computer systems that can recognize faces and photos or recommend movies based on your taste. But generative AI is a whole different ballgame. Think of it like traditional AI is like a student who is great at memorizing facts and answering textbook questions. But generative AI, it's like the student who takes that knowledge and then uses it to write original stories, compose new music, or even dream up entirely new inventions. It's AI that doesn't just understand the world, it creates. And its core, generative AI is about models trained on massive amounts of data, think millions of images, books, or lines of code. By learning the patterns and structures in this data, these models can then generate brand new content that's never been seen before. So it's a bit like a super talented artist who has studied the works of other great masters, and they can then take that inspiration and use it to create their own unique masterpieces. So the types of generative AI is there's a whole world of possibilities, and this includes creativity that's um, that's in different areas. So uh, some of the ones that are, are commonly uh, being talked about are text generation. We have models like GPT-4. Um, we have Gemini that are uh, good at writing uh, articles, emails, poems, even code. There's image generation tools like DALI. Um, Midjourney turns simple text prompts into stunning visuals, like a cat is wearing a spacesuit riding a skateboard. Or can also generate music. Think original composition in any style you can imagine. Code generation. AI is lending a helping hand to developers. This is the Gemini Code Assist product that I've been working on. That is why you should care about generative AI. There's lots of things that you can do today with this technology. You being a writer, using AI to brainstorm new ideas for a novel, a designer using AI to quickly generate dozens of design variations, a developer using AI to automate the boring repetitive parts of their coding job, so generative AI is a tool that can amplify our own creativity and problem solving ability. So this was the beginning. And in our next video, we will dive deeper into the fascinating world of large language models. And I'll talk about what are the different components of the large language model. With that, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me so that you don't miss that next episode. We're doing this for 10 days and I will share all the basics of generative AI in these 10 days. I look forward to seeing your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Thank you.